Paul Lee. I'm an energy policy analyst for the city of Los Angeles, and I advise on everything from clean energy to greenhouse gas emissions to air quality, and just really making sure that LA's on track to be more sustainable, more environmentally friendly. I'm classically trained as a civil engineer. I've since branched out into other disciplines. I recently got my professional licenses in both electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. I consider myself a little bit more of an interdisciplinary engineer and it's been great because I can see patterns and I could allow different engineering groups to like work together and collaborate and be kind of like this person that can weave in and out of different disciplines because I think moving forward you're going to need more interdisciplinary teams. The way that I think about a civil engineer is that we design and build the built environment that the general public uses. Roads to bridges, your sewer systems, how you get your clean water. Any large collective system is where civil engineers get involved. I worked for about four and a half years with the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, where I got to work on these mega scale solar and wind projects. I learned that it's not just engineering that's required for a clean energy future. You also need to engage communities, you need to engage public policy. One thing led to another and I ended up at the mayor's office where I have a little bit of a different role in engineering. Not so much punching numbers, but more working with people, getting grander visions in place and implementing solutions on more of a city scale. Climate crisis does seem overwhelming for a lot of people. Some people say it's an intractable problem. For the ultimate goal of like decarbonizing, transitioning our energy systems, everyone has a role to play, the engineers, the policymakers. I think we have a good sense of where we're at right now, and we have a good sense of what, what is needed to really combat this crisis. I think there's a lot of reason to be optimistic. I was originally drawn to sustainability. I think back in high school, my dad was a mountaineer, explorer. He was an electrician, so he loved working with his hands. I developed that appreciation for the outdoors and for nature. And in college, I combined the two. It's like, okay, I'm good at STEM. And I've had this kind of inkling for sustainability. And it was around my fourth year that I started to merge the two. I understood like, okay, we can really use math and science to, to make our world more sustainable to combat climate change. For anybody wanting to enter the STEM field, I would say, welcome. <laughs> There's so many jobs out there for sustainability professionals and STEM in general. As more solar panels and wind turbines are getting installed, we're gonna need students to become professionals so that they can design better wind turbines design better solar systems, make nuclear fusion happen. So like super environmentally friendly and sustainable nuclear energy, that can be a possibility. As a word of encouragement, STEM is just an awesome field to get into, especially right now. It really refines your ability for critical thinking, really being able to ask the whys and understanding how things work from the inside out.